This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI's newest product, Insights, assists in closing lucrative skill gaps so your team won't fall behind. Empower your team, outmaneuver threats, and gain essential insight into your business. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit today. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro enterprise solution plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form. Threat modeling for you and me, for ordinary folks, um, doesn't sound like something that most of us are thinking about, even though, and I think in some ways, lots of the topics that are in front of us right now are um, red herrings. They're, they're, they're false flags in a way, like AI is going to get me and, and yeah. stuff like that, you know, like, and, and uh, Google's following me, everybody's following me, and I don't like being followed. Um, and you have no idea where the the, the real threat is from possibly for somebody who actually has a motive, you know, I mean, Google's motive is to push ads at you, same with Facebook and, and not much more than that, if anything. And um, I mean, I, as I'm not saying it's entirely acceptable. It is relatively innocent um, compared to somebody who actually has a motive to come after you personally. Yeah. So, so, so what, I mean, so I'm looking at the threat lab site and um, you've got a lot of news there. I'm wondering if you have something that says, you know, for, for muggles that says, okay, um, here's Idiot's what Guide do. to Threat Modeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Idiot's yeah. Guide to Threat Modeling. <laughs> so I would, I would never show. call, I would never call people idiots. Um, right. I, 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 you know, I, I did threat love modeling. the, I did love the, uh, for dummies <laughs> books when I was growing up, uh, right? Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the other, um, yes, the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, no, it's, it's so so first of all, we have our surveillance self-defense website, which is at ssd.eff.org. Um, uh -huh. And that has many, many guides uh, and specifically one about threat modeling, which I think is really great. Um, and I encourage everybody to go check that out. But um, a, a bit more about threat modeling. So threat modeling is actually a thing that we all do every day. Um, and we maybe just don't realize it because we sometimes do it self-consciously, right? Um, every woman who has walked through a parking lot with her keys sticking out of her in between her fingers, right? Uh, yeah. is, in, is engaging in threat modeling, right? Actually, like, you know, I, I think on the whole, women engage in threat modeling a lot more yes. than men on a daily uh, basis. Um, but but we all engage in threat modeling, right? When you, when you lock your door, when you leave your house, you're engaging in threat modeling, right? You're saying, well, there's a threat that somebody will walk in my unlocked door. So I will lock it and that will keep people from walking in, easily walking in my unlocked door. They'll have to break a window, which will make a lot of noise. They'll have to pick my lock which requires certain skills right so you're doing some threat modeling there you're saying like so you're, you're saying what are the threats that you know the things i want to protect are the, is the stuff inside my house who do i want to protect it from somebody who can you know somebody who is going to break in right what am i willing to do well i'm not willing to install unbreakable windows because that's expensive right um i'm not willing i i don't want to go find and research unpickable locks because that's expensive and takes time i'm going to lock my door because that's going to stop 90 percent of what i need to stop right um and that's threat modeling right another example of threat modeling that you can think of is like having a house party right um and you know let's say when you're a when you're a teenager right and your parents are gone for the weekend you're trying to throw a house party right what are your th what are your what do you want to protect well you want to make sure that your parents don't find out you're throwing a house party you want to make sure that your house doesn't get trashed right um you want to make sure that the cops don't get called right uh and you want to make sure that nobody gets hurt right and so you think okay what am i you know what steps do i want to take to make sure this doesn't happen right like well i'm gonna wait and make sure my parents are definitely out of town I'm gonna, um, you know, try to keep everybody inside the house so the neighbors don't notice, right? Um, I'm gonna make sure that nobody has any like allergies, and if they do, I'm not gonna put out any foods with those allergies, right? Um, I'm gonna have a plan for if the police show up for everybody to run out the back door and and scatter into the neighborhood, right? Th things like that, and so those are like that's another sort of form of threat modeling, right? Like you you sort of want to want to plot in your mind right? Like how likely something is, right? Is it likely that the neighbors will find out I'm having a party? Yeah, that's fairly likely, right? And so like how, 
how many steps am I willing to go through? Or, you know, what sort of steps am I willing to go through to prevent that from happening, right? As opposed to like, okay, uh, another threat could be aliens show up and crash my party, right? Like a UFO hovers over my house and they crash my party. <laughs> That's pretty unlikely, right? And so you're not going to take a whole lot of steps to stop that from happening. Right. Because that's not actually a very large concern. Right. Um, And then like, you know, you can, you can, you can apply those same things to real life. Right. Like, okay, I want to protect my, the contents of my emails. Right. Um, You know, do I want to protect the contents of my emails from scammers? Right. Uh, Yeah. Like that seems pretty likely. Right. Uh, Do I, want to protect the contents of my emails from, you know, I don't know, NSA, you know, cyber ninjas or whatever, like, sure. Yes. Um, but also I'm going to have a much harder time protecting my emails from the NSA. And also is the NSA really my main threat here? Right. Um, like unless you're, you know, a foreign national, uh, uh, you know, if you're in the U.S., eh, you know, I don't know, probably not, right? Like, it's it's probably your bigger threat is scammers, right? Um, if you're engaging in you know specific things, maybe you're more concerned about the NSA than scammers, right? And maybe you need to take different steps to protect your email further, um, you know, against against that high level of a threat, right? But I think for most people you can think about what those threats are, right? Like, is my threat more that I will get bad information from a from a useless search engine? Or is my threat more that uh, the search engine I'm using will record all of my searches and those will be used in a law enforcement case later because I live in a state where abortion is now illegal? Right. Like this is these are these are these are real concerns. Right. And in that case, that might be the same search engine because Google is getting more and more useless by the day. 